and we'll probably practice around noon tomorrow from a recruiting standpoint. Just having good at bats, and they have really been both ways. He's driven the ball both ways. Today was favorable for if somebody got it up in that jet stream today, and even if you hit it foul, it seemed like the ball wanted to come back into play more. I know. Getting out of that seventh, Bobby caught a ball there, but uh, it's been huge. I think the other day it was uh, Ike, game three, and it's nice to have somebody new keep showing up for us, but, but Fabian's been locked in for a couple of weeks and played really good baseball. Just getting some length, you know. Well, that's two games in a row, I think, where the three-hole hitters bit us in the first inning and, and hit a home run, but nonetheless, I thought he settled good, got us – Got to a pitch count, got us through five innings at least, and we were just wondering if we were going to try to go hitter by hitter one more inning. And the, the leadoff double, I made, I think, made Teeth go right to the to the pen and go to Graves um, in that situation there. Good job. Yeah, and I think he helps the guys that are coming right behind him get pitches to hit. I think his ability to get on base, uh, our offense runs so much better when he gets on base. And then when he gets on, just the movement and the antsy, he even worked through, I don't know, is it three or four picks in a row and then stole a base today. So I think there's some confidence there and some some ability to do that. But hopefully it also helps the next few guys to, to get some pitches to hit if we can divide a mindset any with the with the pitcher. <laughs> I just didn't believe it, so I did walk over in person. I'm like, is that the camel? And uh, I saw a couple of players after batting practice doing the same thing. So I did. I was expecting a bigger camel, but nonetheless, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I thought that was pretty neat for, for a Wednesday. And uh, I, I saw it in the notes without really somebody telling me. So I read it for myself and needed to see it for myself. So I did sneak over there and see him real quick. Huge. I just, I the Air Force wound up out hitting us today. There was a side of the game of like, we really got to two strikes. I mean, balls were put in play on 0 2 and 1 2 uh, often. And good job of getting ahead. I think we're really close, but the things I keep talking about pitching wise is ability to finish at bats. I just been able to get to the floor maybe with a breaking ball or executing a, a fastball a little bit more. Is kind of unique, so yeah, I didn't had had any no intentions of Bauman pitching today, but he had to. When you start walking, uh, tying runs to the plate, you know we needed a big out, and that's one of those balls I was referencing. Where like, that's fa so foul on a regular day, and it came back. But Bobby's pretty good around that wall and around the uniqueness of limited foul territory at Plainsman Park, and that was a huge one pitch, one out, and then we we moved on. Um, but that was that was. Uh, a big point in the game with the bases loaded and, and, and two outs. I, I think we gave up one run in that inning. So that was huge. Whenever they're top of the lineup, their one through five came up. They scored in the first, they scored in the third, and then uh, I guess the seventh was the other time that they scored. They were a, they were a handful to deal with today. Coach, can you comment on the overall experience of being able to host some of our academies at Plainsman Park? This yeah, it was pretty neat. Coach Kaz uh, gave me a challenge coin at the at home plate today, and I appreciate your, our – Alumni Association, Kate Larkin, shout out to her for bringing me 48 coins to give to their players and their coaches uh, with Auburn on one side. And, and I, I appreciate him. Um, you know, our Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs, Colorado, has a huge understanding of what Auburn University and how much it appreciates the military. We show it time and time again. Really, in my time that I've been in Auburn, I've appreciated Auburn for that type of respect. But it's an honor to play Air Force in baseball. And, um, you know, those, those young men are future pilots. Uh, they'll be special forces. Uh, the first baseman leads a 1,000 men and women. Um, there's just a couple of squadron leaders on the left side of the infield. Their futures are bright. Those are some of America's brightest. Uh, and they raised their hand and gave an oath that they would absolutely defend this country, even if it means giving the ultimate sacrifice. And we got to play them in a baseball game. So. Um, that's that's pretty neat. That's a pretty good honor for our guys to get to do that, and I wanted to make sure that they're aware of that. Um, so, 
Yeah, man, when we get to play one of these academies, it's a big deal because they, they give us the right to go out and, and play baseball and get to have these experiences like we get to have at Auburn. Um, these are some of our future leaders, and I think we're in good hands. I, I really – I got to shake hands with every player in the line after the game and uh, just first class. And they're going to get back on a big transport plane. And I got a picture of them coming out of Houston back to Colorado the other night where, you know, they're, all their equipment's right there stacked up on the plane, and then they're on a wall in uniform, backed up and up against the wall of a transport plane going back. Uh, they do an amazing job of representing our country and uh, made me feel so much better about that. Uh, uh, getting to play them was an honor. Yeah, thank you guys.